While we were at Trial Lake, Steve and I learned a little bit of history. Trial Lake is now a reservoir along with many of the High Uintas lakes. About 40 inches of rain falls here each year. Trial Lake drains through the Provo River and into Utah Lake. Back in 1910, farmers in the lower valleys needed more irrigation water. They figured if they could store the spring melt in the high lakes, they could use it in the dry months of July and August. Previous dams had washed out during the spring runoff. Trial, Wall, and Washington Lake dams were completed in 1910, and many more were built over the next few years. Each dam outlet had to be opened and closed at the proper time to maintain water flow. For 50 years, Henry Clegg was responsible for year-round operation of the dams. He named this lake after his father. In the summer, Clegg and his family lived in a cabin like this at Trial Lake, where he adjusted the outflow of the lake on a daily basis. Clegg also stocked the high lakes with fish, which he transported by horseback. This is the Maycock cabin. It was built in 1926 and 1927 with lodgepole pines from the area. It's a Utah historic site and still owned and operated by the Maycock family.